this be upon you. <clears throat> Today we will talking about a new lesson which is functions. This lesson is so easy, inshallah. Then we will start this lesson, inshallah, right now. <clears throat> uh, first of all, we have a table here that shows the number of assorted chocolates in a chocolate box and the price of the chocolate box. Then we have this table, we have the number of assorted chocolates uh, like 6 and 12 and 18 and 24. But the price of a chocolate box, if we have 6, then the price would be $8. If we have 12, the price will be $12. And if we have 18, the price will be $15. And if we have 24, then the price will be 18. Then these variables, which is number of assorted chocolates and price of chocolate box are clearly related. Why? Because we notice here, they are related. Here, the number of assorted chocolates and here, the price of chocolate box. For example, six with eight and 12 with 12 and 18 with 15 and 24 with 18. We can draw it like, like, for example, a linear equation here or a linear function. We notice that. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. This is better. Yes. Then we can write them as ordered pairs like in the relation can be described as 6 and 8, 12 and 12, 18 and 15, 24 and 18. And after that, we can call it like a relation as a set of ordered pairs. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. Okay. Then let's move on. We have the first example right now, which is Bola is working on an environmental project and is analyzing the amount of paper used to print some books. She finds out that to print one copy of a certain book, like six uh, meters squared of a particular type of paper is needed. For each one copy, we need how many? We need six square meter of a particular type of paper is needed. Then let A be the set of the number of copies. Here, this is the number of copies, which is, for example, five copies, 10, 12, I don't know. Then uh, let's A be the set of the number of copies of the book. Here we have one copy, two and three and four and five copies. And B the set of amount of, uh, in, in, square, in, in meter squared, like of the paper needed to bring that number of copies, which is here, six for just only one book and 12 for two books and 18 for three books and so on. Here we have M and N. We don't know the number here. Then the first question is find the values of M and N. The second question will be write down the set of ordered pairs for this relation. Okay, let's find it out. Okay. Then as we know, if we have like one book, it will be six meters needed or six squared meters needed two box 12 why because two times six here two times six will be 12. okay then two times six will be 12. because of that three times six will be 18 and the same four times six will be 24 because of that we find out m equals 24 and Five times six it will be 30. Then because of that, we find that N equals 30. And now we can write the relation, which is one and six together as ordered bear and two 
uh, and 12 together, like ordered pair also. And for three box, we need 18 squared meters. For four box, <coughs> for four box we need like 24 uh, meters or square, square meters. And for N, we need 30. Or for five box, we need 30 squared meters. That's it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Here we will explain the mapping diagram. This is a mapping diagram. Uh, and a mapping di diagram is used to show how in a relation the elements of the first set, which is inputs, are mapped onto the elements of the second set, which is outputs. Here we have one, it will be went to be six and so on. Under the mapping R here, 18, for example, this 18 is said to be the image. This is the image of three. Okay, like this is the image of three. We can call it like that. Okay, we will move on. Here we have a function, the definition of function which is a function is a relation between two sets, okay? In which, in which every element of the first set, which is input set, which is independent variable, is mapped onto one and only one. Mapped onto one and only one element of the, set, uh, of the second set, which is output dependent variable, like that. Every element in the first, okay, mapped onto one and only one. Here, one and only one. Not, okay, not two. This will not be a function. Just only one, not two. Okay, again here, just only one, just only one, just only one. And we will notice two types here, which is one to one one element to one element, one element to one element, or many to one, just I think like that. One and two, which is many to one. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Here we have example two, which is we have A equals negative three, negative two, and zero and two, and the mapping which is x went to be 2x over 2 minus 1, well, minus, minus 1. Then we need to find b, which is the set onto which a is mapped. Then we will take negative 3, I'll put it in, instead of x, it will be 2 times 3 to the power 2 minus 1, like that. Focus with me, please. We have 2 times negative three power two minus one. And now lots of you uh, make lots of mistakes in this point, which is negative three to the power two, just only negative three to the power two, which is negative three times negative three, it will be nine. That will be two times nine, two times nine, minus one, then two times nine will be 18, 18 minus one, it will be 17, like that. And the second one, the same, and the third one, the same, and the last one, the same. We have 17, seven, negative one, and seven. We can arrange them from the smallest to the greatest, which is negative one, seven, and 17. Okay, determine whether or not this mapping is a function from A to B. It will be a function if each one here went to be just only one and only one. Then negative three went to be 17. Okay, negative two went to be seven and negative and two went to be seven. This is not, this mapping is a function. Yes. A many to one, a many to one function, a many to one because only one went to one, right? For example, here, to, to make it more clear to all of you, which is negative three and negative two and zero and two, this is like an A, 
and we have V, which is called the range. We have 17 and 7 and negative 1. Then negative 3, 17 is the image of negative 3, and 7 is the image of negative 2, and, Z, and negative 1 is the image of 0, and 7 also is uh, an image for point two. We each element went to one, just only one here. And it calls many to one, why? Because of negative two and two. Okay. Let's move on. Now we were talking about domain and the range. Domain and the range. The domain of a function is a set of all input values. And the range of a function is the set of all output values. Here we have input, which is x, and we have the domain mapped unto output, which is y, which is the range. Again, the domain is a function of, uh, the domain of a function is the set of all input values. And the range of a function is the set of all output values, which is here y will represent range and x will represent domain. Okay, we will move on in that, which is example three. Then kindly focus with me in example three, because this one is completely uh, critical, completely, uh, it's important to me. Then consider the function y equals x plus one, where negative two smaller than or equal to x, smaller than or, or equals to one. Find the image of x when x equals negative, uh, negative half. Now I will replace x with negative half, then y it will be what? Sorry about that. Y will be y will be half, which is 0 0.5. Okay, write down the domain. We have that, we have what? Consider the function. The domain, this is the domain, which is negative two smaller than that, which is from negative two to one. But here we have a hollow circle like that, empty one, not, not solid, okay, not solid point, the hollow point, which is, uh, we have to, to write it negative two, smaller than, or equals to x, smaller than one, because we will not take one, because one, it's not belonging to this domain. Okay, uh, help to sketch the graph of this function. We can draw it by like making that x and y, and we will assume like negative one, uh, zero, and uh, for example, one to represent it, then negative one with one will be zero. Here it will be one and it will be two. Then negative one and zero. This is the first point, and zero and one, this is the next one. Then one and two, here one and two. And now we can draw it. We can draw it, yes. This is the function. Hence, find the range of this function. Oh, we need to find the range, which is the elements of output, which is from two to negative one. Okay, then it will be like that, negative one, smaller than or equal to y, smaller than two, smaller than or equal to two. Okay, let's check our answers. Negative half, negative two, smaller than or equal to x, smaller than or equal to one, negative one smaller than y, smaller than or equal to two, that's it. Here we have for every input x, there is only one output. The domain, we have a domain and we have the range. 
determine its domain and its range, consider, when we consider this graph of a relation, note that is, if a graph has a solid dot, then this means that the point is included in the graph if there is a hollow dot, okay, a hollow dot, then this means that the point is not included in the graph. Explain why this relation is a function, because each element in X has a value with Y. Like for a every input X, there is only one output Y. Yes, one output. determine that its domain and its range, we, we write it down here, negative two smaller than or equal to x, smaller than one, and for the range y equal to negative one smaller than or equal to y, smaller than or equal to three, like, like here, negative one to three. Thanks for watching.